Welcome everybody to our Friday Chapel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and everlasting Father, we thank you that you have brought us to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger, and guide us always to do what is right in your eyes. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now sing our hymn, Christ Be Our Light. Kindness, kindness, by Bear Grylls. Everyone we meet is fighting a battle of some sort. It is good to remember this when we think that someone is being particularly difficult or obstructive. I can bet you that they are having a tough time in another aspect of their life that is making them that way. When we remember this, it changes how we see people. So always be kind, as Plato said. For everyone, indeed, is fighting a hard battle. When we release kindness into the world around us, it creates a ripple of goodness. Healthy relationships are created, connections are nourished, and people in turn become inspired to do what they can do to spread that kindness further. Kindness changes us as well as others. And it is the unexpected kindnesses that are the most powerful ones. I love the story of David with a man who was crippled and described himself as a dead dog. Don't be afraid, said David, for I will surely show you kindness. I will restore to you all the land and you will always eat at my table. This man spent the rest of his life living in the palace in Jerusalem. David's kindness changed everything for him and we are discussing it to this day. Kindness, kindness, kindness. Write it in your heart. Kindness is king. When we release kindness into the world around us, it creates a ripple of goodness. Please bow your heads for prayer. O oh Jesus Christ, our brother, our Lord, you lived in a home at Nazareth. You obeyed your parents, worked with your father, and enjoyed the company of your friends and relations. We ask you to bless our homes, to strengthen the love that we have for one another, and to give us all that we need for our welfare and happiness. For your name's sake, Amen. Dear God, when I'm not sure I'm good enough, let me be kind. When I feel I can't change the world, let me inspire just one other to do so. When I can't give away riches, let me be loving. Let me be known for kindness, for it is the greatest glory. Amen. We say the birthday prayer for Paige Smith, Samantha East Trejo, 
and Lucas Hoytplank who've had their birthdays this week, saying together, Almighty and everlasting God, our Heavenly Father, mercifully hear our prayers and grant a long and happy life to your servants, Paige, Samantha and Lucas. May they grow in your grace as you increase their years and ever live so as to please you. In the power of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.